Hey guys, Aaron with Kodiak Vans. Uh, I wanted to bring you up to speed and today we're gonna be doing some LED lighting installation. How fun. Anyway, we're with uh, Van One. We're just about done. I'm gonna give you a quick little walkthrough. Uh, I do have some lights in here, so hopefully they won't blind you. Turn this other one on just in case. There we go. Um, as you can see, going in the van, we've got our we've got our runners on. Have our cabinets installed. We got a little bit of electrical down here. This is the 8020 aluminum that we've been working with. We have a light control here for the upper lights in the ceiling that are slowly getting done. And we have a remote for that switch so you can control those from your bed. Um, this is our one cabinet. It's got our refrigerator, three nice sized drawers. And of course the other cabinet which houses our sink our microwave and some more cabinets along with a pull out toilet drawer so the toilet will sit on top of this we're waiting for the locking mechanism to secure it and some drawers and good stuff here's that remote with the lights we'll mount that in the van um, we've got our electrical in for the backsplash area we're not going to do the backsplash until we get our quartz countertops installed here and over here. We also have a lagoon table mount here, which will have about a 16 by 24 quartz countertop with bamboo underneath it. Uh, so it looks real nice. We've got our bamboo uh, storage area. We've got carpet on the bottom in there to help things from rolling around. I really don't like how these nail holes are showing up, but luckily the curtain rod that I have coming in here is a side mount, so it'll mount right here and cover all of that up so you won't see it. As I've shown you before, we did our carpet on here. Once we get our roof installed in here, I'll build a box that goes along there. As you can see, we have our electrical components installed. We have a nice little cover box covering all the electrical in there. We have another outlet up here for your USB ports, and this also controls the Wii Boost for your um, cell phone signal booster. Cabinets are in, doors are made, but we're installing the ceiling panel, so we have these lowered down a little bit to pinch and make a nice seam right in here. We are putting silicone in there to make sure it is nice and tight. As you can see, we've got our first panel up with our lights in. This is our other long panel, or excuse me, storage, all with sliding doors, just like you see down here, like we did in everywhere in the back there as well. Um, let's see, this one is uh, doesn't come out as far because you're right here over the cooking area, so you want to you know have a have enough room so you're not banging your head. Um, as you would on this one as it's literally right here over the cooktop. This is where the cooktop goes down here above the refrigerator. Um, so this one's not as deep, but it has a ton of storage. And this one's a little bit deeper and this is be more for like your clothing or whatever you wanna do there. Um, we do have planned for a nice little rod to go across here. So if you want to hang clothes um, when the door is closed, you know, we've got the magnetic curtains coming for the outside door. As you can see, we've bam taken the cover off the bamboo on the top of the door, but we've left it on the bottom just because we want to protect that and not bang into it while we're installing stuff here. Uh, we've got one of our panels up, or actually both of them, all of them are done. We've got our lighting installed for both sides. Um, we did leave a tank access so that you can clean that out. Um, in the event you want to winterize so you can access your tank and clean it out you just have to lift up the the boards that go across here for the bed now this is an unusually larger bed in a short van um, this is a almost a full queen it's 60 by 72 i believe inches and we've had a custom mattress made for that six inch memory foam all that good stuff this compartment was built a little bit smaller with the intention of getting additional airflow into the electronics compartment um, so all of, you know, your battery is under here, your control panel, and all of the goodies you've seen before up in there. Um, we will build another box 
right here. Once this countertop is done, we'll build a nice little bamboo box that will house all your lighting. So you've got your, your outside lighting, your upper LED lighting, your lower LED lighting uh, for your you know kick lights, whatever. We're gonna have an LED light coming underneath here. And then we'll have another one on the back panel of the garage, which will light everything forward. Uh, we do have an electrical outlet going here. Obviously, as evidence of this, this is our power for the cooktop and all the other little lights and doohickeys and whatever. Anyway, um, that's about it. Um, I'll take you around the back and show you that real quick. So back here you have your, your shower, your water fill. You've got a USB for this side. I don't know if you can see it over there, but just under that blinding light is an LED plug as well. Um, you do have electrical out here and back. You've got your your lights for above, and you got your lights for in the garage. Your main power shutoff, which can be reached uh, even if the door is closed and you're traveling, if something were to occur. Um, this is an access panel for all the plumbing which you don't really need to get to so we didn't make it a slider we just made it a lift up and pull out and then of course you've got the slider and these are all really nice and tight so you're not going to be moving them while you're traveling but all of our electrical of course is in there as you've seen before so anyway today i'm going to yell at austin some more there he is he's trying to hide from the camera um we're going to do some led lighting all of it has to come underneath both cabinets, upper cabinets, on this back wall right here. And so let's get started. Should be fun. All right, so here's what we're gonna do. Um, we've got this electrical in here that is wired back to the post where all the light switches are gonna be and power right as you come in the door. So we're gonna splice this. This actually runs up here and over the ceiling to the other side over here right here so that we can do all of the under counter lighting here that'll go all the way down to the end and then we'll have so we'll have this side that's underneath here the problem with 8020 is that it is unforgiven it will not bend it will not let you do anything so luckily we have just enough space underneath this piece right here to slide our LED lighting, which is very thin uh, and it's uh, self-adhesive. So it barely fits in between the, the beam that you can't see because Austin won't show you right here to the end here. So we have just enough room there to slide that LED lighting through there. Um, up on top, what we're going to do is we're going to put our wiring down through the channels that are provided in the 8020 for all the interlocking mechanisms. We're gonna put this down in there. We have these filler pieces that go over the top of these channels if you wanna hide it to just to make it look nicer. So we'll cut this to size and we'll put that down here in this to hide all the wiring. There'll be a small piece of wire that you can see right here. We have this black, um, for lack of a better term, plastic that will mount in this channel across the whole entire length of this. It comes up and over because it bends and it'll lock into the upper portion of the channel. That is what will hide all of this stuff. It's just a black background. And you can take it out in the event you need to do any servicing or whatever in the back of the, the cabinets here. So then from there, we're gonna have our LED light basically these are going to stick up through a very small hole. We're going to drill here in the corner underneath, and then we'll attach the wiring back here in the corner. Uh, and then we'll devise some way to hide that as well. Uh, we are going to use these, I forget what they're called, but these things are awesome. So they basically, you can stick your wires in and lock them down. So when we cut the wire here, um, we'll obviously want to run wire here, but we also need to keep this wiring going to the other side. So we'll use a couple of these things to uh, get that all done. Um, so that's what we're going to be doing on both sides. We'll go ahead and set up and then uh, I'll have Austin help me and you guys can follow along. Thanks.
sponsor. Oh, you didn't think we had sponsors? Well, guess what? We do. Today's sponsor is Austin's Birdhouses. These are amazing little birdhouses that uh, are made by our own Austin here in the shop. Look at this fine quality. I mean, the goo is just everywhere. You know it's gonna hold together, right? The caulking, the silicone, the overshot nail holes right here. These are great character pieces. You know, the bad paint job, amazing. This was, uh, this was a prototype, so uh, this is invaluable. We can't let this one go. But if you would like to put in your orders, we have both the barn, hip, and gable roofs illustrated on this birdhouse. It has its own front patio, so they can hang out in the lawn chairs, you know, get a suntan, whatever. Uh, nice little trim around the opening to get in there. Lots of room inside. This is a two bedroom, two bath. So there's plenty of room for people in that one. Anyway, this is our sponsor. We're proud to have them. Hope you guys place some orders. We'll talk to you soon. Anyway, so we got them all wired. As you saw, we just tested them out, but here's what we did. We kind of ran them through this. So that black plastic I mentioned that's gonna come up and over and hide all that stuff, we'll have a little, we'll cut a little slot right in there. So it just goes, so you won't see much. And then this will get hidden back here in the corner. So when you are using it from the front, you won't see any of that. It'll, it'll just be hidden back there. But other than that, um, same thing over here. Sorry. Same thing, we got the cover on here. Our little isopropyl alcohol will take that little mark off from our ink pens. And then once again, we'll splice a little bit on the plastic, bring it up and over, hide this in the back corner. So, there you go. That's our LED wiring video. I'm sure you've enjoyed it thoroughly. Anyway, thanks for watching. Hope you guys subscribe and follow along. Hit the bell if you thought uh, this was at least half-assed. So um, we'll talk to you soon. Thanks.